And uh, welcome uh, to this uh, game here this evening, the secondary schools uh, final. It's uh, the final game of the very all important game, of course, at the Bethlehem High School. Uh, they're taking on the defending champions of Central League at secondary. And uh, of course, uh, pleasure to be here. Um, uh, would have missed the first two games uh, due to the fact that I um, had other matters to deal with outside of the Victoria Park. Uh, but Charlo, pleasure to be here with you this evening. Definitely, it's, it's always a pleasure. And certainly, you have missed uh, some very good football, on the, uh, on in particular in the, in the juniors, where St. Martin's really put a lot of pressure on Bishop College. And uh, what we have seen was a shadow of John T. T jo um, Jolando Jolando from last year. He was really outstanding, but this time around, the players gave him no chance. I, 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 I must say that St. Martin's look a lot fitter than Bishop College and they really showed that. He actually came down to a penalty shootout and well, some well taken penalties by St. Martins and really edged them into victory. All right, well, um, where we are preparing for this one indeed, where the Central Leeward Secondary, they are the defending champions, of course, taking on the Bethel High School and uh, both teams uh, in the middle. Uh, giving the photographers a moment certainly to to get, a, get some photos and uh, very soon we'll be having this one uh, going here this evening in the Victoria Park and uh, it's a decent crowd in uh, this evening on the screen there is uh, the Bethel High School and uh, that's the school from the South Leeward area Camden Park to be more specific and uh, panning down there to the left in a huddle uh, the defending champions the Central Leeward Secondary School and, uh, of course, this is a school that would have, over the years, dominated quite a lot, not just in football, but... Uh, athletics. Athletics and, and, and netball. In fact, I uh, understand that Central Leeward is on an 11-game winning streak. Wow. So will that be snapped this afternoon or uh, this evening? It will have to be seen. All have to be seen. And uh, you got to give some kudos, of course, uh, to, to the likes of uh, Chester Morgan, who was really... Uh, worked with this team for, for quite a number of years. He's, 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 he's out of the Barody area and um, would have been doing tremendous work uh, with this outfit over the years. So we are just uh, about to have uh, a minute silence in the middle, of course, for the late referee. Ro Rohan then. Primus, better known as Spella. Yes. Uh, I was buried yesterday, as a matter of fact, and um, fitting away, I had the opportunity to see the procession uh, moving down Kingstown uh, to the cemetery, to the Kingstown Cemetery, and uh, it was a good turnout by the referees and uh, public in general, but we're just having teams in the middle and uh, ensuring that there's a good mix as far as the players are concerned as into that circle, that full circle. And now we have a minute silence.
And there you have it, moment of silence. And uh, both teams, of course, uh, will be taking up their respective position. It's been a while we've had some football here at the Victoria Park. And the outfield looks quite splendid, Charlo. Definitely, when I came in at, uh, earlier this evening, I looked at it and I said, oh wow, Victoria Park looks in very good condition. And uh, well, another impression is, is that they, they, they have uh, very good support tonight. The crowd has been very, very good indeed. Uh, definitely. Um, as I said uh, early on, it's a pretty good crowd in here this evening. And um, we are really and truly looking forward to a good game. Uh, referee in the middle. We'll get that name for you in just a little while. Uh, but should be getting a kickoff fairly soon here. I don't have the starting 11. We do have uh, the, the team yeah, lineup. Teams lineup, but the starting 11 is not indicated. We'd have to judge them based on their numbers. And it's even more difficult to identify the numbers on the back of the Central League secondary shirts, but we will certainly try as much as possible to uh, let you know who the individual players are. Uh, it's much more easier with the Bethel High with that uh, yellow top and dark numbers, uh, but that blue on that dark blue is a, a little difficult, yeah. Charlo. I don't think, I think to say little would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty difficult indeed. Well, we're just awaiting the kickoff. And uh, just to get the, the name of the officials, uh, they're just doing the last minute checks, ensuring that the netting on the goals are well secured. And uh, as a matter of fact, that did not on goal. Some work being done, nothing out screens, yes. So Danway Barker would be carrying the whistle. Yeah, for Barker. So I understand there's a bit of a work to be done, yes. And there, there you see it. Uh, and nothing there is loose. So some repair work has to be done there before this game can get started. Uh, of course, we would have had that game before, and uh, the penalty shootout would have taken place in that particular game. Definitely. Goal. So maybe some damage is done, and uh, not notice but we're going to be having the really repair work as you see a, a gentleman coming in the referee Barker just there doing a little warm up but an all prep for this one and uh, the repair work in the meantime being done uh, to the northern goal here at the Victoria Park as we await this uh, grand final of the inter-secondary school senior football finals and uh, I say congratulations to uh, the OEA government, of course, uh, this evening. That was a rather, I had a little bit of it, and very interesting game. Uh, the the OEA team never said die, and uh, certainly they took it uh, almost at the last minute. Yeah, definitely. I think that they, they did it in the very final minute or so. But I think one of the, the, the things I've observed that Paget Farm depended heavily on KJ Oliver, who had been the leading scorer in the primary school championship in fact he i think he totaled some 24 goals but the ovia kept him at bay forced him to take long shots and a lot of it went over the crossbar or wide all right we still see work uh being done there as a matter of fact the person who was assistant had to leave uh, maybe not having the requisite material to to do the work so in the meantime we still have a delay in the start of this one here at the Victoria Park. I reach out to all who are looking at us on channel 114 and uh, also on our uh, Facebook page. I do believe we're also available on our YouTube channel. And uh, it's really a, a lovely evening here at the Victoria Park. A nice cooling breeze as uh, uh, the effect of uh, quite naturally the Christmas breeze, as you said, Charlo. It's really cool these days, these nights. Well, we, we welcome the, the, the coolness. We have had some months of heat. And so with the Christmas, the advent of Christmas is a lot cooler and really more welcomed by one and all. So players in the middle are uh, just knocking it around, especially the Barley Secondary School, uh, trying to remain as, as warm as possible. And uh, I get that blood flowing in those veins of theirs. In, in, in the junior final, a number of players actually came down with cramps. And uh, I think it's something that indicates the, the, uh, the, the level of fitness and, uh, well, again, you need to be well hydrated in, in, in conditions like this. Well, I'm hoping that we're playing, playing a full 90 uh, for this one. Um, it was, what, 70 minutes? In 70 the, minutes in the for the, the juniors. 
So we should be playing a full 90, but we will certainly uh, make sure that we get that information correct, of course. And so. They played uh, five minutes extra time. I, you know what I found interesting? It was that in the primary school, they had 10 minutes extra time right. in the uh, half. Okay. Per half. Per but half. in the juniors, Only it five. was five minutes extra time per half. Well, that's interesting. Of course, uh, the primary schools, of course, a 40 minute game, 20 minutes per half. Uh, but as to why the difference in the extra time, only the officials and the experts can uh, really say that to us here. But we are still very much uh, standing by for the start of this one as they continue to do the repair on uh, the northern goal. And it's quite quite a lot of work, quite a lot of extensive work. And uh, there we see a former national player who is now the coach of the Bethel High uh, having some words with his, with his um, players. Well, yes, uh, I think this game would be 80 minutes. 80 minutes. Uh, 80 minutes. And so I think the repair work just about completed. And uh, very soon uh, we'll be fully in action here at Victoria Park. Uh, coming back to the whole matter of the time, I think it's important that we, you know, our players uh, get accustomed, especially at the, the, the secondary senior level, um, to, to a full 90-minute game. I, I would support that, that, that full 90-minute game, because you'll find a lot of these would play with teams that play in the, 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 the senior competition here. That's correct. And that's a full 90-minute game, so the, the, it's the best, the, the, the initiation is, is, is pretty good. In the case of Jonaldo Payne, who you spoke about earlier, um, uh, he plays for Avenues United, a exactly. premiership team, and he goes the full 90. Full 90 minutes all the time. But he had to play a 70-minute game here this evening, so uh, maybe some consideration uh, should be done. But of course, not all players are at the level of, of the premiership, but I think it's important that we groom our players to, to get accustomed uh, to pull the f play in the full 90. Bethel High now with possession as we get this kickoff. It's intercepted there by the Barry defense. And the uh, ball in the middle of the park here as uh, they try to knock it around on the right side. It's uh, Bethel High. And nice ball there. And uh, with the early possession is Bethel. Nice turn and drop down in the process. Also going immediately there by our free, and it's going to be the first uh, free kick of this game. And this is the first half. We're just about some 30 plus seconds in. And uh, Bethel High School is already uh, looking to press that early advantage. Floated in, and uh, well, Blair trying to keep it in there. It's out of touch, and it's going to be a throw into the central leeward secondary. Nil nil, and as you see, a portion of the crowd there. Uh, fairly good turnout here tonight at the Victoria Park. As there's a battle for possession, Ross comes in now, and uh, it's just a little too overweighted. Uh, player couldn't get there in time, but still has possession there for Bethel. Uh, loses it in the process, and the clearance is not a good one. And good work there, gets around the second, closer to his right. And uh, Bethel will now try to drop the right side. But uh, lost possession in the process. A bit of a tussle on the far side there. The flag is up, but I believe it's for ball being out of touch. It's going to be a throw into the central leeward secondary. So, Bethel, uh, with the Bethel, the early exchanges, but it's still very, very early. With within still within very early in the days, uh, yes. just around the, the, the second minute of, 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 of play. That's actually a free kick floated upfield there, and uh, it's going to go right into the arms of the goalkeeper there for the Bethel High School. That is, I believe, Amara Richards. All in defense still for Bethel. Floated to the right again. They seem to be trying to work this right side early on. And uh, robbed of it in the process. Central Leeward. They've certainly produced quite a lot of good players over the years. This one is true. And uh, Richards uh, coming off, off his line. And danger not yet averted. Shot comes in, but it's a tame one. And event eventually the defense cleared it there, Charlo. Definitely there's an early danger. But good work in the end. Early defense for, 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 for Bethel High. And here is a cross coming in, but it's uh, at the top of the 18-yard box, still with central leeward secondary. Battling for possession, holding on to it. And the player doing well there. He's still closely marked. And in the end, Bethel is going to clear it. But Richards committed himself very early there. 
and uh, was caught off and his defense uh, in the end had to do the cleanup work Charlo but definitely and that's what you're called that's what you're there for the defense and they defended stoutly and the score line remains nil nil this one is on the left side well brought down and uh, rolled to the offside yes they up when they flag very very early indeed as Isaiah Barker wearing the number 18 shirt there for Patel High but uh, Central Lee with now with possession in the middle of the park robbed of it and regains possession first touch was not the best but uh, in the end this ball is too close to the defender there who gets possession there for Bethel and in a battle I still the heel back and uh, in the end it's out of touch referring to the Bethel High School well it's uh, turned over and uh, the Central Leeward School from Barley, the Warriors uh, will certainly try to work something here. It's floated in. Richards is off his line and punches. Knocked up field now. And here is Barker. Indian is out of play and uh, it's going to be a throw in there for Central Leeward Secondary. So, Western going. Not the best of throws. As a matter of fact, he's been asked to go to the right spot, go back to where the throw ought to be taken from. And decides to go back in defense. Gets the return ball. Floats it into the middle of the park. Nice turn there. Uh, still close to Mark. Gets around one, two, no. Locked in the process. And uh, fouled in the process, as a matter of fact, yes. So. Central Leeward now will try to probably drill this one down the middle. Let's see what he does with it. Yes, throws it forward, but doesn't get the height. Could only find a yellow shirt. And the player turns very quickly. Parker to his left, but it's way too much ahead of him. Out of touch, but it's still in favor of the Bethel High School, who uh, will now have a throw in. Looks like if it's Young with a throw, looking for Barker. Back to Young. Decides to go right back there. Finds his big number four. Throws it into the middle. At that high with some possession here now. Floated forward, but uh, in the end, it's going to be uh, easy work there for the custodian uh, for Central Leeward. I believe that's Devon Morgan, if I'm correct. Floats it upfield. And uh, still not clear there by. Bethel High and uh, Central Lee with no possession. Deep on the right side. Play is closely marked and let's see he decides to come back. And they're just uh, knocking it around. And they get past the defender. Uh, Indian whistle going and it's an infringement against the Central Lee with secondary player. And Bethel High with a free kick taken very, very quickly indeed. Finds uh, Barker. Floats it upfield looking for Barker again. And the defense is very quick there uh, for the central lever second there. As a matter of fact, no nonsense. Boots to make sure it's out of touch. And, uh, it's so difficult picking up the numbers for central leeward. Very difficult. Uh, so this throw now taken there by Parker. Floats it in and uh, whistle going offside. It is. And uh, it's going to be a free kick for the... Central Leeward Secondary School into the seventh minute. It's still nil nil. And uh, as the scoreline reads, it has been even Stevens with regards to the possession. I think uh, no team has yet really been dominated. Dominant. Yes. Definitely. And it's, but one must say, it's a pretty fast pace as well. Very much so. And let's so hope that it's something that they can maintain because fitness is, is very important in the game of football. Uh, it's an 80 minute game. Uh, Central Lee with now possession. Nice stack now ball, but can only find a couple of yellow shirts there. And in the end, floated up field out of touch. And Central Lee with a force with yet another throw in. So both teams still looking to to, 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 to find that ascendancy to dominate. And uh, certainly left to be seen. So Bethel High now with a free kick to be taken by uh, well Slater leaves it. And it's going to be taken by Walker, it appears. Well, 
cut out there. And now Santa Leeward. They've been looking quite patient and they've been trying to work this right side. Let's see what happens here. Uh, couldn't keep it in. Goes out of touch. It's going to result in a goal kick. Well, one thing I can say about the Central League secondary, they, they've, they've been quick to the ball. They've tried to have a patient build up um, as, as, as they move forward here uh, tonight, Charlo. What, what, what anticipate, and uh, knowing Chester Morgan, I think Central League would, they should be a very fit team. So. Goal kick now for the battle high. Bless slipped in the process and could only find a blue shirt, but uh, the header wasn't the best. And Central Leeward gives up possession to Battle now on the left side, on the right side. Still a battle there for possession. Loses out Battle. And they're now two yellow shirts in battle in the process, fouling the Central Leeward player. And it's going to be a, a free kick. Central Leeward secondary. Players just gesticulating to the rest of his team to pick up the appropriate positions as he boots this one upfield. Ball is nodded back. I think the intent was to try and get that play on the right side, but uh, back in defense. And here comes Bethel, but uh, briefly broken up. Ball is true, but cut out by the defense. Back to the Bethel high and uh, a bit of a backward and forward taking place there in the end forcing the play a little too much there because he had options to his right and decided to go through the middle where there was just loads of blue shirts and here now we see ball going right back to Richards couldn't pick it up did the right thing and uh, in the end it's volleyed out Beckons this place to move forward and not the best of passes. He had again the option to his right and just yeah, and it really just yeah give it away. So at the end, play on the far side, doing some cleanup work there for Bethel High School as uh, you know try to race down the right side. Looking to get past the player and the whistle going. I believe it's against Bethel. It is. So. They've been trying to work both teams, as a matter of fact, as they advance, they've been working that right side, that right flank, um, as they try to, you know, make some sort of inroads. Here this evening, tussle for possession in the midfield, and then it's booted up. Again, not well directed, and uh, here is Central Leeward now on the left side. Cross comes in, and well, what a miss! That should have been buried. Had the open goal to his mercy, and how did he put that over the crossbar? Anxiety. Open heaven knows. Anxiety. Again, you have to control your emotions getting into those areas. But it's a beautiful cross uh, by the, 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 the player on the left. And really, he was in the perfect position for, for to finish it. Look at this replay. Cross comes in, and... Uh, Come on, that should have been buried. That can be costly in the end. Well, because what we have seen is that the defending champions, two defending champions, were dethroned. So, still nil nil in this uh, the twelfth minute. An opportunity there. Gonna begging for the Central Leeward secondary, and the best chance thus far of this game. Barker floats it in now for Bethel, top of the 18-yard box, but uh, can only find a blue shirt. Was looking to get that player going on the left side, but uh, cut out by the Bethel High. Whistle going, infringement call. I thought referee Barker could have a long advantage there, but he didn't. Decides to call the play back. And uh, free kick being awarded to the Bethel High. It's a decent crowd in here at Victoria Park for this, the final of the secondary school. A little hush. Ali would have here. A little hush though, as uh, that was floated in, but nodded away by the Central Leeward defense. They have possession now in the midfield. Goes to the left. And uh, play still with possession. Still with it. And uh, shot comes in very tame indeed. I don't know what he was trying to do there, Charlo. Yeah. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. All. Goalkeeper had no difficulty whatsoever, and um, collecting that, giving away there to Bethel. 
And ball floated in. And had he missed that, it would have been some anxious moments there for Bethel High. This for, for Central Leo. Bethel still with possession. And in the end, robbed of it. But he does well. Fell in the process. And uh, Young couldn't hold on to that one, but it's still with Bethel High. Taking a long shot and uh, really and truly aimless. It was aimless and, and there was options left and right. Uh, he was some 40 yards out or so. Uh, I really think he was, should have tried to work something better than, than that. So here's goal kick taken. Central Leeward still in possession. And giving it up. Good work. That's Sunda. Crosses diagonally but cut out by the defense. And uh, yeah, we see that battle for possession which Central Leeward has won so many times. But uh, good defensive work here by this Bethel High player. Looks to shadows it. That's young. And uh, lost it in the end. This one is knocked up field, but this should be easy for the battle defense. And well, oh, wow. should have been easy, but <laughs> a little too casual there. And uh, luckily, they still have possession. Central Leeward. And he rushed it by the defense for Battle High School, but they're still hanging on to it. And uh, in the end, lost out. Floated up field now. Onto that right side. Player collects nicely, but has a blue shirt ahead of him. He'll be forced to go back. No, he gets it through. And uh, once again, here comes Bethel on the right side, but uh, couldn't keep that possession. And I believe it's going to go through into the central leeward second half. So we're 15 minutes in. A child in this the first half. Nil nil. It's nil nil. Still both teams looking to dominate. Still fighting for that elusive goal. And... Uh, we we'll wait to see what would happen, but Central Leeward continues to, to battle. They are the defending champions. Surely, Bethel would look to, to, to dethrone them. We have seen it in the first two games in the primary school. They are over here, the defeated Paget Farm, the defending champions, and St. Martin's defending Bishop College, defeating Def Bishop College, the defending champions. So, can we see Bethel? Dethrone Central Leeward is left to be seen. Well, this one is out of touch. I believe it's going to be a Central Leeward throw in. There we see briefly uh, on the touchline Coach Morgan, player there, wearing the number 17 for the Central Leeward Secondary Warriors. That's uh, Miller. And uh, there's Bethel. Good work there. Gets the return pass. Can he work one? Is magic and a good save there from Richards. The ball came back and still that opportunity. Shot comes in now and it's wide. Uh, but again, an opportunity going to begging. Opportunity going to begging there for Central Leeward Secondary because that rebound there from Richards. Uh, there's the player. Going to get the number in a while. It looks like Miller. Seems like number seven. Miller it is wearing a number 17 shirt. It's much more easier for us to pick up on the screen as opposed to, 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 to looking at the, the, the actual play. So here's Bethel High now. Ball floated forward. Nodded on. Wow. And uh, trying to find Young there as well. But uh, couldn't get the feet of Barker. And uh, put it away now. That's what I'm gonna, it's going to run out. Pretty close to that corner flag. As a matter of fact, he remains in play. And here comes Bethel High now, deep inside the left side. And the ball now in the middle. Floated forward, looking for that lone strike up there. And Barker coming across to give some assistance. Robbed of it in the process. And in the end, it's out of touch. So, referee just having a, a bit of a moment there with uh, one of the players from the Metal High School. Sundis Sunda. Sunda. Okay. 
Suresh Sudha. Lone player in the middle with some space and uh, could have done a little better, but ball now with better high on the right side. And uh, showing the defender a little too much of that ball, robbed of it in the end. And they will now try to go down the left side there, centrally but secondary. It's a race uh, for possession. The centrally player gets there first. And uh, well, the cross was not properly directed in the end. The defense allowed to clear. But it comes right back out, shot taken, and it's wide. Not a bad effort there, Charlo. Certainly. And you can hear the applause um, around the ground for a, a good effort, but the wide of the upright. And the score line remains nil nil. Well, the defending champions thus far has had more of the uh, opportunities here thus far in this, the, the 19th minutes. Uh, they, they had that clear chance in the 11th minutes, and of course, uh, about two minutes ago, another possibility. And there you see a while ago, another one going to back in. So they've been creating the chances here tonight, Central Leeward. Meantime, they I can't rec uh, recollect any clear chance for the. Bethel High School thus far. They've, they've certainly had a couple of build-ups. Um, but nothing that is and here it comes. Well, this could be the opening goal. It is Central Leeward Secondary. Goal coming in distant 20th minutes. And we're gonna try to get that there for you in a while. Numbers are uh, difficult to pick up as he comes towards our commentary position. As a matter of fact, goes right to his coach there. And uh, Wearing the number nine, like, is it number nine or number eight? Yes. You get that it's number, like number for you. nine. So, Central Leeward, there you see that goal. Richards, ball going between his legs. Nine, and number nine. That's Jack. So, Jim or Jack. So Jack doing it in the 20th minute uh, for Central Leeward, and. Uh, They've been knocking on the wall, Charlo, and let's yeah, look, have a look at it again. That's as, the replay there. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Richards got a boot. I thought it went between his legs. He got a bit of a boot onto it, uh, but it was not enough to keep it out of the up upright. It was a low shot, and he really had to get down. And uh, good finish by Jack, and taking Central Leeward in the lead. So 1-0, as we see Jack there on the screen, uh, going right there to his coach, Chester Morgan, and big hug. I think that indicates the, the influence he has Definitely. On, 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 on the players. There's Bethel now. They try to counter. Ball floated way forward, but can only find the goalkeeper. Took a die there on the bounce. And uh, goes to his left. So Jack in the 20th minute. As uh, this one is floated forward. And the name Jack, of course, quite synonymous with football in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The name of Rodney Chang Jack uh, certainly would have done fantastic work for St. Vincent and the Grenadines at all levels and uh, went on to uh, play football in, uh, in the UK uh, for Crew Alexander. And uh, now and again, you see, still see him on social media making his comments relative to football, but he certainly was a standout uh, in, Definitely. The, in the 90s and the early 2000s. Uh, for some Very quick on that needs. left flank. Very nifty play indeed. Now we let's see it's going to be a free kick now for the Bethel High. And the player just spotting it on his left knee there. Taking his time. And as a matter of fact, Ruffy Barker just making sure that the two-man wall is back to Regulated 10 yards. And uh, free kick now floated in. Not a goal was, but he didn't get enough on. Still danger not cleared. And shot is in. Good work in the end. A boot just in the nick of time. And uh, knocked away in the end there by Central Lever secondary. But those were some anxious moments. Very anxious moments indeed. And uh, just getting the boot there in the nick of time. Here again, comes this could be Jack dangerous. Once again, this could be number two. Well taken. Beautifully done. Richards had absolutely no chance there. He just stood and watched it. That is well placed there by Jack. Number two in this, the 23rd minute. It is 2 0 in favor of Central Leeward. Beautiful take, a piece of work there by Jomar Jack. Look at it again. He got away from it. He was one on one, ending up in the goalkeeper. Saw him coming and just. 
booted that to, to, the, to the, the right of the goalkeeper with all the effortless ease. That is the true. The goalkeeper was just simply beaten. Definitely. Staying calm and cool there, Jack. You notice that the keeper Richards was more or less on the right side of the goal. There was lots of space on the on the other side, and he just tapped it in. Goalkeeper Richards with absolutely no chance. And it's a, now a two-goal lead for the defending champions. In, in this. the space of three minutes. Ah. So, I tell how you now a lot being asked of them. They have to regroup. So, we've had a, the, Jack, the Jack show within the last uh, three minutes, Charlo. Oh, definitely. And that pace out pacing the defense there for Central Leeward Secondary. Ran right through the middle. And on both occasions, as a matter of fact, registering there for Central Leeward Secondary. So, I do hope that the Bethel High does, don't now drop their heads and they just, as we said, regroup, recollect, and look to come back here this evening. Uh, they looked good, especially in the first 10 minutes. Definitely. All now on the right side, and as a matter of fact, uh, not well directed. I think he was beaten, he was anticipating, he was anticipating the pass, but he, in the, instead of going in front of him, it went to the back of him. And uh, really a throw in now for, for Central Leeward, so the pressure really taking its toll. Well, down to down, throw now being taken, out of the way. Could only fly on blue shirt, floated in, and uh, well, in the end, it's wide of the mark. And uh, a goal kick will result there for the Bethel High School. School from... Camden Park, and uh, they also would have had uh, one or two good players in the past. We go back to the days of the Curtis fame, Joseph, the same Rodney Chang, Jack, I believe those two players came out of the Bethel High School when it was yes. just behind the Victoria Park here, uh, if my memory serves me right. There is Bethel, all floated forward. On the right side, still a possession, and... Uh, Finds the player there, but he's closely marked. Runs into two blue shirts and uh, is put it out of touch. And it's going to be a throw in for Bethel. Into the 26th minute. Throw is taken. And uh, gets around one. Looking to do the make across there, but was robbed of it. And we'll have a second opportunity to take this throw in. trying to weave his way through got past I believe three players there but couldn't get past the fourth and uh, knocked away booted out of touch again another throw in there for Patel and uh, good defensive work there floating it up on the right side but there's no man there and uh, another throw in looks like Young is going to take it for Patel Whistle going, not a legal throw. Turns it over there to Central Lee, but secondary. Throw taken too quickly there. And uh, luckily it was nodded out by the Bethel player. So it's two goals to nil in favor of the Central Lee, but secondary. And uh, wow, they've wow. been bundled off it. That's and not the best. Let's see where the hand go to the pocket. Well, we'll wait to see what happens there. But uh, it's, it's, it's pretty soft on, on that side of the field. As you see, the, the replay there. I uh, don't believe he got any of the ball. Let's have a look at it again. And uh, didn't get any of the ball at all. Got into the player. And uh, brought him down in the process. I believe fairly lucky not to have gotten a yellow card. Uh, but uh, a free kick now to the Central Leeward Secondary. Kick is taken and what a what strike! A strike. <laughs> what a free kick! It's number three! They're going rampant here, the Central Leeward Secondary School. And once again, he finds his coach. Just looking for the number on the back of the shirt. Eleven. And uh, Harry, that's Harry. What a tree kick! Richard stretching for all his worth, couldn't keep it out of the net. And this goal number three in this the 28th minute. And 
Let's look at it again. Look at that. Floated in. Richards caught off the line. Stretches. And in the back of the nets. Goal number three there for the Central Leeward Secondary. And really and truly now, Bethel High. It's really riding rough shot over these. They yes. did Bethel High. And again, you can see that influence there by Chester Morgan as uh, he's having a quick word uh, with his players. There's a bit of a problem uh, at the far side, which is not on our screen, and then the goal uh, of, of the uh, Bethel High. I think the goalkeeper got a yellow card in the process. All right, something he might have said, but it's, a, it's an opportunity for Bethel High players to, to get a little hydrated, get some much-needed uh, refreshments, some, some drinks, some liquid into the system. They're 3-0 they're up. And uh, certainly stamping the authority on this one here, Charlo. Oh, definitely, Central Leeward really stamping the authority. And it's going to be a challenge, and, and a very big challenge as well, for the Bethel High to come back from being 3 0 down to come out victorious here this evening in this encounter. So we have goals in the 20th and the 24th minute uh, by Jamar Jack, and uh, just a while ago in the 20th minute. Harry. Rani Harry, uh, of course, uh, scoring the third goal for the Central Leeward Secondary School. So, to all those persons in Botman Glass and Glebe and Reversion, in those areas, there are also some persons I know in Leu. A lot of students come over from Leu uh, to go to the Central Leeward Secondary School. There might be one or two coming up from the North Leeward area. Uh, of course, uh, pretty much on the Ascendancy here tonight with that 3 0 lead. Here's Bethel nonetheless. Sunda. Robbed of it. Whistle going. Infringement in the process. And uh, it's going to be a free kick to Bethel High just inside the central lead half on this the left side. Kick now to be taken by Richards. Floats it in. And uh, ah, this is a little. A little. A little bit of a problem there for goalkeeper uh, Richards, but I think he did well in the end. He would have probably just mistimed the bounce. And this one almost came into a commentary position. I was kind of looking at our equipment there, Charlo. <laughs> uh, but we're safe. It really came in with some power. And Definitely. Now we see the officials having a word with, I believe, the coaching staff there for the Bethel High School. As throw taken there by Richard Young, who's looking there for Barker. Fold in the process. And uh, Sunda is going to come around to take the free kick for the Bethel High School. So let's see what they can make of this one. They're down by three goals to nil. And a good take in the end. All knocked up field by the central leeward secondary. Battle for possession there, still in ha hanging on to it. Doing some good work there. Very good work and indeed. There was looking for someone to run through, but in the end, long red shot not, uh, blocked there by the defense. That's a wrong one. And uh, in the end, it's it's not corner. Away. Yes. And that player there on the far left side, he's had a good game. He's, he's yes, he has really put some pressure on the defense. I think he has used his pace. And it really has put some pressure on that defense. And really, Central Leeward continue to show that dominance. It, 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 I think they, they, they look fitter and yeah, stronger. Definitely. And really moving. And that's creating a bit of problem for Bethel. Well, let's look at this one. It's a corner kick and there's just two blue shirts <laughs> in the 18-yard box. As a matter of fact, in the six-yard and uh, well, they're now coming in. Ball is knocked short, short corner. And the cross comes in now, and a good header. In the end, it just screams past the upright there. And the uh, scoreline remains 3 0 in favor of the Central Leeward Secondary. Pressure continues to mount here on the, on the part of Central Leeward, really exerting a lot of pressure on Bethel. And Bethel simply have not found the answer. And to that, a player is down on the far left. So some assistance is being sought. Yes. Good time for the players to just regroup, have a, a, a word with their, 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 their coach and hydrate and try to settle 
their nose because you can see some level of frustration coming through Just from Bethel High. Without a doubt. Uh, meantime, of course, uh, uh, some work uh, or some attention being given to the player on the turf there. I have no idea as to who the exact player is, but as you said, it's an opportunity for both teams uh, to certainly uh, get a bit of a liquid in the system and get some words of guidance, maybe encouragement uh, from the coaching staff. Uh, there you see Mil uh, um, Morgan. Morgan. He's quite animated despite the fact that his team is 3 up. Um, he's definitely in a no-nonsense mood, pointing out maybe the areas where, in his opinion, they might be very well be deficient. But most likely, definitely. But he's not going to, 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 to settle. He's that kind of a person. He's going to push them to the limit and uh, kick off the gun. Well, uh, the player's been taken off, so Chantilly we're down to 10 men in the process. And there's Bethel. Let's see what they can do with the one-man advantage. Barker finds him. Return ball and does well. A good ball, little Barker. But uh, again, the defense is standing tall there for the better for the central lead. But secondary who now comes away on the right side, finds Jack, Rob the bits, and Battle now still with it. Yeah, and loses possession. Jack, ball floated between two defenders there, but they're gonna get there for us. Nice little heel back uh, there from the player. And uh, all of floats on to the left side there now to Young. With the number 10 shirt for the Bethel High. Not so good defensive work, but luckily he had his players there to clean up the mess. Knocked it away. And this went to the into the Bethel High School. So still three goals to nil. As we go into the 36th minute of this encounter. Here's Sunda. Oxford into the middle as Bethel High will try to make something out of this one. Floated in and goalkeeper Richards locks it out of the air. Good take from the, the keeper. There's Central Lionel, defender. Goes past one, two. Can he get past the third? Now he's forced back, he loses possession. And uh, in the end, Bethel League. Give it up and ball now finally floated forward there to the custodian there for the Bethel High School who immediately knocks it back up. And uh, not the best of work there. There's Sunda, he has to watch himself and might very well get a yellow card here. Hands go to the pocket. Yeah, that was a series, very serious yellow card on the very. part of Sunda. Really, truly. Totally unnecessary. Yes. No way he was going to get possession there. It was the point I was making the second game when the players commit those infringement. The first thing they, 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 they indicate with their hands up as if they surrender to say, I'm not guilty. Yeah, but you saw the goalkeeper but with full possession. Full possession there. Let's look at it again. Yes. And Sunda really a nonsensical challenge as play continues nonetheless. Special High School now with possession. Still with it. Sunda. Robbed of it, but uh, the rebound fell nicely there for Young, who's looking for Barker, but again, good work. Good by defensive the defense. work. Young. Rich the throw. Crosses in, but uh, volleyed away. By the central leeward secondary. And uh, as a race is on for possession. Flag is up. Infringement, I believe, against the Central Lead player, free kick to be taken. All is floated up field now. There's Sunda. He's really been in the mix of things here this evening. Sunda for the Bethel High School. And uh, but have also had an opportunity to have a brief moment of uh, uh, chit chat with the referee Barker. Uh, but uh, wrong is wrong at that time uh, where we Finds saw. Finds himself in the referee's book. <laughs> There's Waldo knocked forward, and uh, in the end, let's see who's going to get there first. Good work. And a better high player. Looks like the captain. Looks one finds Barker. Barker does well. Got a wrong one. The whistle goes, and this has to be a yellow card. And yes, it is. 
Good work from Barker there. He got past the, the, the player. There he goes, and the crunching tackle coming in there. Um, Taking his legs out from underneath his yes. <laughs> underneath him. Look at it. Absolutely none of the ball. All of Barker there as he was flowed in the process. And uh, rightfully, a free kick being awarded to the Bethel High School. Two-man wall in place. Sunda is going to take that free kick. Well, let's see what Sunda can do. Sunda Popo, you remember that, Calypso? Yeah, also, definitely, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Black so, Stalin. Ah, the late Black Stalin. Dr. So, Leroy Kalis. Yes, Sunda. Floats it in, and just at the far post, the heads go up, and it's out of touch. But not a bad effort there from, from Sunda. Not, a, a, a little too much on it. But certainly a, a pretty good effort indeed. Yes. So it's still three goals to nil in favor of the Central Leeward Warriors here this evening. And they've really and truly played like true Warriors. Dominated uh, from since the 10th minute of play. And uh, shown that they certainly, when it comes to the whole matter of uh, secondary schools football in St. Vincent and the Grand that they are the team to beat and they have played both teams have played unbeaten throughout the tournament um eddie central even in the battle eye so there's sunda again with possession as uh, we enter this the 40th minute and uh, the indication from the fourth official as to how much at a time there will be one anticipate there might be a minute or two But I see no reason why these teams can't play an extra five minutes, Charlo. Yeah, I, I, I think there should have been a 90-minute game, really. Corner kick down the list here to the Central Leeward Secondary School. Short corner. We've seen they've been taking a, a lot of these corner shots. And cross comes in now. Sunda is there to clear. And Bethel High with a possession now. Clear doing well. Hanging on to it. And uh, decides to just pull it up a bit and... In the process, Rob the bit eventually. He's given it away. He has given it away very easily. Yes. So a player rule to be offside over there. And uh, it's going to be a free kick taken. Quickly taken there by the Bethel High. So we're into extra time. As to how much added time, no indication from the officials. As there is no... Uh, the board that is placed up is, is not present tonight but here comes central leeward secondary who's looking for jack cut out by the defense and there again, goes the whistle, whistle going so it's about a minute or so so that's the end of the first half here this evening and this is the final of the uh, secondary school senior football competition a three goal leader for the central leeward secondary they are the defending champions uh, goals from the boots of jamar jack in the 20th and the 24th minute and Mosrani harry in the 28th with a calmly collective goal uh, of course, given that 3 0 lead here this evening to the Central Leeward Secondary, and uh, they must be commended for the effort, Charles. Definitely have to be commended. They look the dominant force in that first half, and the, the, the goal line has indicated that, and they have really played some very good football. What you have seen is the fitness really coming to the fore. They are much quicker to get at the ball, and you can see the speed is creating a bit of a problem for the defense for Bethel High. And a few minutes rest, they are going to come back. Bethel will have their work cut out in the second half. So we take a break. The music strikes up here at the Victoria Park. And when they're ready for us, we'll come right back here on VC3, Channel 114, and on our social media platforms.
So we're back here at the Victor Park. It is the start of the second half, the final 40 minutes in this encounter. The Central Leeward Warriors are taking on the Alphas of the Bethel High. And immediately uh, there you see an early uh, foul taking place in this, the 41st minute. And it's against the Bethel High School. Crunch and tackle there. And taking uh, him off the, or, 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 taking his feet from under him. Yes. And getting an immediate yellow card there. That's, uh, that's young. And uh, the referee immediately signal, signal into the bench. For uh, some assistance. Yes. I think he needs help. Maybe he's just, he's back on his feet, but he's now being ushered to the sideline. So it's going to be a free kick for Central Leeward. Still with Central Leeward. Leeward. I cut, uh, still Central Leeward with it. Finds number seven. That's Harry. Still Bethel. Still Central comes, comes to the middle. Good ball. He's going to shot and he's good defensive work knocked away. It's going to be a corner for Bethel. So again, the, the, the pressure early mounting there on uh, Bethel High. And it really shows, I think, the fitness of Central Leeward as well. Let's see what happens with this corner. Corner kick comes in, the heads go up, and uh, uh, fairly decent header there from the defense of the Alphas. Bethel High, nice ball, looking for the return, but it's cut out nicely there by the Warriors. Ball floated on to the right side. Let's see who gets there first, and the Central Leeward player gets there as well, knocks it back. Ball is still at the top of the 18 yard, but it's cut out there by Sundar. And uh, Central Leeward, they regain possession. They twist and turn there, but uh, in the end, uh, lost possession. And, uh, still within the. Well, a shot. Well, shot taken now. And uh, that was Jack. One screamed over the crossbar. High and wide. Already we see early in this the, the second half uh, the dominance being continued by the Central Leeward Secondary School and uh, they have possession still. Jack goes to his right and player fell in the process, given up possession and uh, there's Bethel High now. The Alpha's racing on the left side, but good work and uh, it's knocked away for a throw in. Taken finds the boot of Sunda. Sort of a lob, he gains possession momentarily, but lost it. And here comes the central leeward secondary ball. Can only find a yellow shirt. Picked up there by Sunda, goes to his left. And the ball is now floated in. This could be a bit of a danger. No, finds the weight in arms of goalkeeper Richards. And he's looked quite good in goal. Very, very comfortably <laughs> taken. He looks calm and, and collective. So it's going to be a, a turn to the Bethel High School, deep inside on the left side, as uh, Paul finds what looks like that back over there. Takes a one-time shot, but uh, way high over the crossbar. Absolutely no threat uh, there to Richards, no threat to the Central Leeward secondary and the score line remains 3-0. And there's the 44th minute, 45th minute I make it. Still some minutes to go, but one central Bethel would have to do a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work really to overhaul this 3 0 deficit and to get ahead of, of Central Leeward. What we have seen so far simply does not look like that can happen. Well, we wait to see. Um, still another 35 more minutes remaining. Never say never. And as we say in cricket, you know, the game never finishes until the fat lady sings. It might be a different song here this evening, but it's all left to be seen. This one is floated upfield. Out 
the boot there of Jack. Had a good, decent first half, but two strikes. Rather, Harry, who scored the third goal for Central Leeward. Sunda has really been all over the field here tonight for Bethel. They lose his possession. Here comes Jack. Still with possession with two players around him. Twist and turn, and he missed in the process of <laughs> trying to execute that kick. And uh, Bethel High now with possession there on the right side. But uh, very quick play indeed. Got there first, knocked it away, and averted any possible danger there on that right side, Chalo. Again, we see the speed of the central leeward players really outrunning Bethel High. And that was a, 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 a perfect example of what happened a while ago. They were very quick, covering rocks very, very quickly indeed. And continues to put pressure on Bethel High. Bethel now with possession. And uh, top of the 18, skips past one. Goes wide. And uh, oh, poor piece of work there by number 20. Not looking to control the ball, having a one time kick, sliding off the, the side of his boot and going out of touch. Really should have done a lot better than that. That's Yannick Williams on the screen there. And I believe he came in on the second half as a substitute, along with uh, number 13 player, who is uh, Adonis Adams. It might be the two substitutions for the Bethel High School, but uh, really and truly, uh, we expected better there from Williams. Ball floated forward now. And uh, looking to keep that one in with Harry. Couldn't get there. And uh, still, the wind has picked up quite, quite a lot. Still in favor, nonetheless, of the Central Devil second year. As you saw there a while ago, Coach uh, uh, Morgan looking to take that throw in. <laughs> so, that's right now for the Central Devil secondary school. Ball back in defense into the midfield. And they decide to push this one now onto the Right side, uh, player lost his footing in the process, lost possession also in the process. Now on the left side, and uh, good boot coming in there in the end, just to knock it out of touch and avert any possibility of any forward movement there from the Battle High Alphas. They're down by three goals to nil in this the second half, and uh, whistle going there by referee Barker, I believe. I uh, just want to make sure that the player takes that throw from the right right spot, right location. And that's Young, he's on a yellow card, but uh, he finds Sunda, no. Sunda, two feet, appeared to be just grounded and didn't move much, and the ball just left him out of touch. And the goal kick result in there now for the Central Leeward Warriors. Have been patient, and when the opportunity would have presented itself, uh, they certainly, in most cases, in most instances, uh, made the best of it. Three to be exact a brace for Jack for Jack and Harry that scored in the 20th minute. Throw taken there by Bethel, and they've really and truly for the last uh, two to three minutes there about occupied quite a lot. Uh, of the central leeward half but not having the creativity uh, to certainly be the heroes that and they, they ought to be making as uh, there is uh, the warriors now with possession inside their own half ball on the right side collected nicely gets past one knocks it back and uh, given up now to the battle high school Sunda, nice ball there from Sunda, but goalkeeper Richards is going to get there first. He read it very well indeed and was quickly off his line and avert whatever possible danger they might have been. But it's back now with the Battle High loses possession there. That's uh, Williams. Ball is out of touch and it's going to be a throw in now for the Central Leeward Warriors. The player going down and actually holding his leg, and it seems to be a Central Leeward player. So, player still very much on the turf. Uh, 
being helped up. As a matter of fact, being lifted off. Lifted off the field. So again, we see yet another player having some sort of injury here tonight. And uh, let's just look at this. It looks as if he just could have just pulled up. Maybe just a bit of cramp. Charlo. Yes, and is, he, he goes, yes, cramp. he just pulled up. Yep. And down he goes. So the tightening up of those muscles. And there we see another another player going down this time for this for the Battle High Alphas. Uh, he seems to be in a fair amount of pain. Uh, we have seen a lot of that for the afternoon. In the evening game and uh, coming into this game, we have seen quite a few players going down. And uh, perhaps again, we... let's see. Well, it's something, uh, quite honestly, that's been creeping into not just football, but sports in general here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I don't think we pay much attention to the physical side of things. Uh, enough, not that we don't, but there's just not enough attention. Um, you, know, um, you looked at the teams while, while they warmed up and you saw a difference coming out of the central leeward secondary as opposed to the Bethel High. Yes, you, you, you can easily pick that up in the, the, the whole approach. And you, you rightly said it, it has crept into our, 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 our sports where persons are taking fitness for granted. You look at the television screens and you see the likes of Mbappe and company, um, Vinicius Jr. I mean, these are guys who are trained day in, day out. Um, not to say that um, we, we, we're going to totally adapt that, but there has to be some time allotted to ensure that the physical side of things um, is dealt with. Uh, on the field of play is very, very important, but the whole matter, to be out there, you have to be physical, you have to be fit. You, you have to be fit. If you want to be at the top of your game, you must be fit. So... It's going to be a train now for the Central Leeward Warriors to be taken by Lane, then Roy Lane. Comes right back there to his number 16. Puts it at the top of the 18-yard box. Finds the play over there with some space, but he's being chased. And let's see what he does with it. Still hanging on to it. Turns. And uh, in the end, fought back gallantly to regain possession, but his pass was not the best. And uh, here comes what looks like Jack goes back in defense. Booted up field now and could only find what looks like Adams to Williams, but uh, good boot coming in there from the central lead player. And well, good piece of work, it is. Ball floated forward. Here's Jack, that's two yellow shirts to contend contended nonetheless and lost out in the end. Uh, but it was a nice little build up in the end from central lead secondary. Good defensive work by number 17 for, for Bethel. Well, they've learned their homework not to give Jack any space coming through the middle. We saw what happened in the first half where he just ran past the defense. But this time, uh, closely marked there by two defenders for the Battle High School. And uh, that one is out of touch. And uh, here's Adams now with a throw in for Battle. Find Sunda. Sunda looking to get player going there, but it was too close to the defender. And that's gone way out. The Victoria Park sending and sending that one to visit the hospital. Maybe to get an x ray, <laughs> one never knows. <laughs> uh, but of course, there are quite a number of balls available here, uh, such as the nature of the game these days. I recall in the past that uh, you never really had such a luxury. This one is headed goalwards but knocked away. And in the end, it's going to be yet another throw in there for the Battle High School. Taken by Adams, right there to Sunda. Nods it back to Adams, but he's robbed of it. And uh, here comes the Central Leeward Secondary School now. Motoring forward. And good. Tackle coming in there in the end uh, from the Battle High player. Uh, resulting nonetheless in a throw in there to Central Leeward. I still the one-two there, outnumbered, but they hanging on to possession and unfortunately came off the boot of the Central Leeward player and they quickly take control, but uh, doesn't go too far. Central Leeward with a possession and ball now with, well, he's been robbed of it. And 
and this knocked upfield. This one is gonna find its way out for a trim to the Battle High Alphas. So it's going to be a throw in for Central Leeward. Long throw, but cut out there by Bethel. Off the defense there for Central Leeward. Bethel would look to come forward. Bethel, number eight, spins, gives it to Sunda. Sunda looking for that man on the right. Finds him. Good piece of work, number 20. He's been hustled off the ball. But it's Central Leeward coming away with it. Central Leeward now mounting a counter attack. Harry, um, Jack, number seven, spins with a shot at goal high and wide over the crossbar. Goes out of touch. It's going to be a goal kick for, for Bethel. Goal kick to be taken. In fact, see player going down. A better player is down, and uh, so to a central leeward. And some attention being given to both players. Meantime, Charlie, it appears as if there's going to be a substitution for the central leeward secondary. I see the player number 11. Number 11 will be making his way out. Jaheim Williams. Because we're in. He's going to replace. He has replaced uh, number eight. No, uh, that's the Crease. Fitzroy Crease. So yeah. Williams has replaced Crease. Uh, there's some conversation here going on. So both players still out there. And you can see that number six, I think, for Bethel. That's Miller being ushered to the sideline. And now we can see the, uh, the Jack? number seven. Jack for Central Leeward being ushered to the sideline as well. How is that Harry? That might be Jack, I believe. He's had a decent game tonight. Certainly he did. Scoring a brace. It's, it's the number nine, which is Jack. Williams for being hustled off the ball there. by central leeward. We're still going for infringement against Williams. So it's going to be a central leeward ball. Central leeward looking to come forward. Dances around one, two, three. Looking to control. It's number 16. That's Dixon. It's goes to the middle, headed away there by Bethel. And he goes out of touch. It's going to be a throw in for Central Leeward. So we are in the 60th minute. It's Central Leeward three. Bethel high nil. Central Leeward Warriors, Bethel High School Alphas. So Jack is back on, but he loses it. And here is Williams looking to get there, but there are two defenders in, 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 in possession. And he's being knocked out of touch by Bethel. So it's going to be a throw in for Central Leeward. Really putting a lot of pressure on Bethel. Throw comes in, headed away. Still in a tussle. The hands go up. It's against Central Leeward. And it's going to be a free kick for Bethel High. Booted long downfield. Looking for Sunda. But the Central Leeward player goes up. But good piece of work there by Bethel. 
Bethel still with it. Diverts it to the left. Looking to control. Yes. Still Bethel. Looking to find Sunda in the middle. But header coming in. Player goes down. Play. Referee says to play on. Long ball downfield by Ives. The outside flag up. No. And in the end, goalkeeper coming back. Covering. And it goes out of touch. And it's going to be a throw in for Central Leeward. Taken still central leeward looking to come forward, still central leeward, but cut out there by the number 13 for Bethel who boots it hard and it goes out of touch. And it's going to be a throw in. Well, that 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 just uh, encapsulates the, the, the modus operandi of the uh, Bethel High. They, they're really frustrated, and that was just aimlessly booted the way there by Adams. Um, one can see the fact that this team is down some three goals to nil we're into the 62nd minute and there's a minute uh, tick away here this evening and that the fact that the central league will continue to make inroads it's become a little frustrating of course for the for the battle high but they have a free kick let's see what yes, they can make of it definitely so Barker right on on, on, on spot to 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 witness that infringement free kick awarded so Bethel trying to get a few players into that 18 yard box Still with Bethel. And uh, giving it away now to Central Leeward. Central Leeward would come away. As uh, the, 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 the race is off. And there's some tugging and pushing. And it's against Central Leeward. So it's going to be a free kick for Bethel High. The one thing the Bethel High has learned. You, you, you don't engage the Central Leeward team in any race. You're going to lose that race. And they've been playing as close as possible um, you know, to, to, to the Central League players. Definitely. Here is Williams for Bethel High. He floats it across, looking for Sunda. It's not there, but picked up there by the number 16. And it's still Bethel. Chips it across. The heads go up. Williams is there, flicks it back. And there go, goes the boot. Referee back up. Uh, blowing the whistle, that seemed to be a dangerous uh, tackle. It is. And uh, let's see if uh, what would happen there. It would be interesting to see this replay. Uh, appeared to be a high boot on the part of the the Bethel player. Yes. And uh, but all is well. He's let's still have a settled. Oh, well, not really, but. I think he was just a little unfortunate there. So, Central Leeward will, will come over. Still Central Leeward. Goes to the right. It's being cut out there by Bethel. It goes out of touch. It's going to be a throw in for Central Leeward. Who's leading this charge here. Three goals to nil. They are the defending champions. They are on an 11-game winning streak. So can this be the 12th? Well, at least they don't better than the Indians who was on that nine game winning streak as far as Cricket World Cup is concerned. So I don't know what happened, but it doesn't appear that it's going to happen tonight to the Central Leeward Secondary. So but Ken, there is the Bethel High School being robbed of it. And still, Central Leeward looking to come forward. Is in a toss, he's still with it. Referee Breakers is to play on, chips Good it ball. down the center. Um, goalkeeper comes off his line. Good anticipation. Yes. And then he boots it long downfield. There we see That's another player has gone down. I don't believe referee Bach is aware of it. Play continues. Yes, and he's holding the, the, the back of his right tie. And so Sunda off the, the body of Sunda goes out of touch. We are now seeing Barker indicating for some assistance for that player who is down. So play has been held up momentarily. And again it appears to be some kind of cramp. Yes, and he has indicated for him to be ushered to the sideline. 
quite a lot of strap in there on that right leg as he makes his way off. Uh, so they will continue in the 66th minute. So it's going to be a throw in on the far side for Central Leeward. The Warriors. And I think there's going to be an immediate substitution. It could appear. It, it appears so. Because uh, you, you would have heard Coach Chester Morgan calling this player. Looks like Chambers. That's number 15. All right. He's going to be replacing... Uh, the number 16 player who's Dixon. And, and again, there's Richards coming off his line, clutching that, averting any danger. So ba Bethel still to get on the scorecard. But essentially, what is, he goes down, another player going down. Uh, without being touched, I think he's looking to for a spin. Barker says to play on. Bethel still with it. Bethel still in it. Inside the central leeward's half. Player is still down. He's in a sitting position. He goes wide. This would go out of touch. It should be a throw in. And now some assistance is being sought. Well, Charlie, we spoke about the fact that this is an 80 minute game. And, and maybe, maybe, um, based on what has been happening, uh, it might very well be justified. Uh, and the fact that uh, the players, they've, quite a lot of the players have been suffering from, from cramps. This is about what, the fourth player, um, if my memory is uh, certainly okay. well. Uh, we've gone down in the last uh, four or five minutes. Yeah, uh, right quite, a, quite, quite a few players, really. And they really has, but it's, it's, the, the, the 80 minutes seem to really be falling into place. Well, yes, but at the same time, of course, it's, it's important that we pay more attention to the whole matter of the physical nature yeah, of our players. It's uh, very important from the school level right up. And I, I've always maintained as well, you, from the school level, you do it at school, but you as a, an athlete would have to take some responsibility as well. That at home you still have to do a bit of work. Some 12 minutes remaining and uh, possible extra time. I, I know for a fact we might probably get about three to four minutes extra time in this. Yeah, we this should half. get some extra time uh, because quite a few players went down and were held up. So there's some substitution. Yes. That's so goes number 15. Chambers going in and uh, looks as if uh, uh, Jacobs will also be going in for the central leeward secondary. Uh, so off comes number Miller. 17, Miller. Miller will be out. And on goes number 6 is Jacobs. Well, not the best of passes there. And this could be a bit of a danger here. And... Uh, in the end, lucky to get the ball in the head, but piece still of work. takes a shot and just oh. wide. Not a bad Over effort, but he, he slams the turf and really and truly should have done better there. As a matter of fact, you see the disgust uh, there because he only had the keeper to beat and uh, had some space to the left. I think he was looking for power yes. rather than placement. And, uh, well, opportunity gone begging. As we have a, another look at this one. And the shot was taken in the right area. But uh, the elevation is what killed him. He was looking for that top <laughs> corner there. And uh, too much on it. Over the crossbar. And the scoreline still remains a three. To nil in favor of the central leeward second. In the meantime, we see Off Young goes. coming out. Goes. And on goes number two, Walker. Here's Adams with possession, finds Williams. Williams goes to his right, was looking for Sunda, but uh, played the ball behind Sunda. And uh, it's going to be a turn to the Central Leeward. That's the Bethel High, sorry, the Central Leeward Secondary School. Still with a 3 0 lead here this evening. And uh, nice cool evening here at the Victoria Park as uh, the, the crowd has stayed with us, Charlo. Yes, definitely. Uh, quite a number of persons have really stayed. Sunda looking to get Adams going there, but he's robbed of it. Nonetheless, he's floated forward. And uh, Richards 
decides to stay on his line as the defense stood firm uh, there for the Central Ebert Secondary School. And uh, I believe they've won themselves a, a throw in. <laughs> throw to be taken now. Up that left flank. Battle for possession there. There's Bethel High. Nice ball through the middle, but uh, could only find a blue shirt in her bounds. And this could be well, 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 well. Good save in the end. It was a little bit of a tame shot as the player's down there, and he knows for a fact that he should have done better there, uh, but really didn't get any power behind that one. Only had goalkeeper Richards to beat. There was the rebound. Falling nicely there for him. Had the time, had the, well, muffed it a bit, and uh, Richards didn't hold on to it at the first attempt, but had enough to recover. And you can um, see one of the defense was right there giving that sort of support. Really like a, a, a guard dog. So and the scoreline remains 3-0. Here we see another yellow card being dished out at a, a Central Leeward player as the wind picks up here again at the Victoria Park. It's been a little uh, ferocious at time as you're hearing in our microphones as we have a look at that replay uh, relative to the Foul committed by the Central Leeward player. And we just await this free kick to be taken. All player, no ball there. Ball is floated in. And here's Sunda for the battle high. Battling for possession and a nice little Zidane turn there with a decent cross in. Uh, but in the end, it was some good defense work. Very good defense by, by, by Central Leeward. Yeah, but it was good work there by, by, by Sunda. Memories of Zinedine Zidane with that turn. The big number five for Real Madrid and for France. As uh, Cross comes in now and Richards does well. He's really and truly done well in goal here tonight for the Central Leeward secondary. That one was a little too much ahead of uh, the player moving forward there. And... Uh, Goes out of touch in that very moist area. And there you see the pace of game of the Central Leeward School looking to win possession there, but in the end it's knocked out of play and uh, will result in what looks like a corner kick, is it, Charlo? It's literally more of a, a, a throw in. Seems to be just inside the, the, just the, the, inside the, the corner. corner flag. Let's see. In fact, it, 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 is, it, it is, is a corner. A corner. And uh, we're free to holding things up a little bit as we have a bit of a debris uh, getting onto the field. And uh, doing the cleanup work there, Referee Barker. Meantime, the first to take this corner kick comes in now. Touched away there by the keeper, comes back out, and uh, in the end, cleared there by the Bethel High School, who tried to move up the left side. Couldn't get past, but get, got the rebound, and uh, in the end, giving it up there to the Central Leeward secondary, but they regain possession, Bethel. Good ball, that is. And here's a one-timer, but it's wide. wide. And... Uh, Absolutely no problem there for goalkeeper Richards, who's done well in the uprights here tonight for the Central Leeward Secondary School. Definitely have done exceedingly well for Central Leeward. And it has denied the Bethel High School any goal, any opportunity to score. So Richards leave this one as the goal kick is now taken. Not the best of goal kicks. Could only find a yellow shirt. But uh, defense momentarily and finally in the end getting it away there for essentially with secondary but uh, better now with a throw in and again it has been, be been booted out of touch so we just about 75 minutes in. Another five minutes officially to play uh, with extra time. As uh, we've lost another ball, but very quickly indeed, there's a replacement. And that is in. And uh, throw to be taken by the Bethel High School. 
They're certainly staring down the barrel of defeat, if I can put it like that, as uh, trying to make some inroads now. And oh. Richards again is off his line. And that's one of the things about Richards. He's, he's very early. He's anticipated well. He yes. has read the game well. And, and you really have to give him the credit. But I think Williams there were caught napping. And he failed to control and he's sliding off his boot at, onto Richards. This one is at the top of the 18 yard box shot. Comes in, but it's blocked. Sunda couldn't pick it up. And again, not taking any chance. The defense just boots it out there for the central lead with secondary school. It's going to be a throw in. So. We're into the dying moments of this, the third final here this evening. And just in case you would have joined us, of course, very early this afternoon, the Oria government, the primary school champions with a 3-2 to two victory over the Paget Farm uh, government school. And, of course, in the junior secondary game, defending champions, the Bishops College Kingstown, uh, after a 1-1 draw in regulation and extra time, uh, losing uh, at the penalty spot. Yeah, definitely. So... We've seen two new champions uh, crown tonight, and right after uh, this game, there's going to be the presentation ceremony where all of the trophies and awards are certainly will be presented to uh, players and, and teams who would have been outstanding in this uh, competition for 2023. And we certainly have to uh, commend all involved the uh, Ministry of Education and Sports, and of course, the St. Vincent and the Grandin's Football Federation, under whose auspices the tournament have been held. Meantime, another player uh, is down, and uh, it's a free kick nonetheless uh, there to the Bethel High School. You see what looks like a, a three-man wall being put in place. Let's see what they will do with this. Now the four-man wall being put in place by the Central Leeward Secondary School, so here's a possibility to pull one back. In the in 78th minute of regulation time. Knock shot. Shot comes in, 4-1. And uh, you saw the plan there, but the execution is very poor, Charlo. Extremely poor. So. It's going to be a trend there for Bethel High. scramble there for possession whistle going again and uh, once again it's against essentially Leeward secondary Sunda who had a well taken free kick in the first half uh, comes across to take this one let's see if he can work a bit of a magic now well we hope if he can do something just to redeem just to regain some confidence floats it in Sunda and in oh, the end it's over the crossbar cross Quite a charismatic player he is, uh, Sudesh Sunda. Player of Indian, Indian descent. And um, I've not seen much Indian players here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I've I not seen you, a lot. I don't know if you can recollect. I, I have not seen a lot. There you but see he, he looks to have some ability. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Uh, appears as if it's going to be a corner kick, is it, or is it a throw? And now we see Jack being substituted for uh, the central lead with secondary. He's going to be replaced by player wearing a number 29 shirt. So Jack Seem not to have that person on our, on our list. Yes. Scored a brace uh, in the... Have a 99. Oh. That one is a one-timer coming in and right into the waiting arms of goalkeeper. Richards. Sunda. Looking. Initiative to flick that one on to Adams. Or is it Williams? But it's out of touch and quickly take control. Finds Williams, but uh, first touch is not the best. regulation time has it disappeared. Is. So, we're going to have...
have some added time quite naturally as to how much. I uh, have no idea, no indication from the officials, but here comes Central Leeward now on the right side. Player to go wide to make sure he gets possession. Cross comes in now. And uh, well, shot is taken. And I believe for a moment I thought it came off the defender, but it was screaming over the crossbar. And it's going to be a goal kick. And there seems to be a bit of a fun taking place <laughs> in the crowd. Something would have happened that uh, certainly would have had that section of the crowd going a, a bit. As to what, we don't know. But the goal kick is taken. Richards could only find a blue shirt. Shot comes in and what a strike it is. Beauty from about 30 yards off and Richards was off his line. The player saw it immediately. Took a one-timer and uh, it's goal number four beautifully taken and certainly had richards snapping let's look at it again there's richards off his line and uh, into the back of the net left for all his work but couldn't keep this one in and uh, good work i think that's a new player who came in with the number 29 shirt number 15. number 15 it is chambers well taken one, saw the keeper off his line, and there's Richards going up, but uh, couldn't get that elevation into the back of the far right corner, and it's 4-0 now in favor of the Central Leeward Secondary School. In the meantime, there was a double change. Uh, we get that in terms of the players who are in a bit. all done and dusted here tonight Charlo to come back from this <laughs> at totally this time impossible. <laughs> here's Sunda and trying to do a little bit too much there Sunda lost possession and knocked away by the defense there for Central Leeward and they will now try to break on this the right side Skipped over it, was looking for someone to run onto, but there's no one there. And uh, all on the left side with the Bethel High School as they'll try to at least pull one back. Player cuts into the middle and uh, foul in the process. It's going to be a free kick. And the wind has really picked up. Definitely here tonight to the Victoria Park. Free kick is taken. Shot is in, and it's wide. Not a bad effort in the end. Barker looks at his watch. One would anticipate any, any moment now there would be the whistle. So goals in the 20th and 24th minute of the boot of Jamal Jack. Masran Harry in the 28th and in the 80th minute of the boot of Ronaldo Chambers. That's a comfortable... 4-0 lead here for the Central Leeward Warriors. School and Barley. And uh, no doubt retain the title of secondary school football champions here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines for what? The 11th or the 12th time? This is their 12th victory. 12th. On a trot. Wow. 12th yeah. consecutive. Yes. Oh. Absolutely amazing here for the Central Leeward Warriors. And there goes the final there whistle. Is. The Central Leeward Secondary 2024, 2023, I should say. Secondary school football champions uh, this evening winning here tonight with a commanding 4 0 victory over the Bethel High School Alphas and uh, a deserving victory, Charlo. Definitely, they, it's rightly deserving. They, they have played the better football, they have been fitter, stronger, and they have really shown themselves as a group that is well oiled like a well-oiled machine they look fitter and they, they, they really went about their, their, their job in a, in a rather professional way and i think credit must go to their coach chester morgan and the other uh, coaching staff without a doubt um we saw on three occasions uh, as a matter of fact uh jack who had that grace tonight on both occasions he ran to his coach 
and just embraced him. Same thing happened uh, when Harry, did it. When Harry yes. scored. Uh, of course, uh, Chambers was on the other side of the field, uh, but you saw that, you know, that 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 connection between coach and Definitely. coach and, and, the, and the rest of the players. And, and that that speaks volumes, as far as I'm concerned. And one looks forward to to, to hear much more from Central Leeward and greater things from some of these players. Who knows, we may well see some into some Premier Division teams coming into the into the future. But it's really hard wrenching for quite a few of the players. And one one would quite uh, rightly understand that. Um, the, 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 that that agony of defeat. And uh, really, it, it, it's a bitter pill to swallow. Well, uh, f yes, for some of the Bethel High School players here this evening, uh, we've seen a couple of them uh, crestfallen, uh, some in tears. Others uh, taking the opportunity to congratulate uh, the uh, their fellow player from the Central Leeward Secondary School. But um, it's something that we've seen for the entire afternoon. I pointed it out earlier when the Oria government won a Padgett Farm uh, School. All players, every single player of the Padgett Farm team just sunk to, the, to, 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 the, to the turf. Yes, yes. yes. And, and it's a passion that we play the game with, of course, the sport of football. Uh, well loved and no one wants to lose but uh, when there's a final there's a winner and there has to be a, have to be a loser but very importantly of course um, uh, the, the Bethel High School would have played unbeaten right up to today and they must be commended as far as that is definitely concerned. they have to be commended they played unbeaten throughout the tournament they came into the final and they came out champions so all credit to Chester Morgan and Central Leeward they continue to show their dominance and certainly I think it's something that the others can take away and perhaps emulate what some of the things that he would have been doing in terms of molding this team and having the sort of success that he is now experiencing. So there you have it of course uh, the final of the senior Secondary school football competition completed here tonight at the Victoria Park. Uh, victory, uh, something victory indeed for the Central Leeward Warriors with a 4 0 defeat of the Bethel High uh, Alphas. And uh, certainly it was a pleasure uh, bringing it to you here tonight on the cameras of VC3 Channel 114. Or should I say from the cameras of VC3 Channel 114? On our social media platform, we're on Facebook and we're on YouTube. And here we see in the middle, <laughs> Coach Morgan get a little bit of a dousing, Charlo. <laughs> well, it, we have seen it in. Uh, they have done it in the athletic when they had athletics. They have done it here again, and I think we we saw that when we had the senior football as well. Yes. <laughs> so Coach Chester Morgan having to lose his jacket there in the process. Uh, the party has started. As we see the supporters of the Central Leeward Secondary School, one supporter there, quite animated, uh, enjoying herself and, of course, enjoying the moments of the fact that the Central Leeward Secondary School, they are once again senior secondary school football champions here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's been a good night. Uh, we've had a, a good turnout and um, certainly it was a pleasure sharing it with you here this evening, Charlo. Well, certainly it is. I am I'm not sure we are going to get the platform again to for viewers and the likes, and maybe it's still early to wish each and every one a very happy, very enjoyable, and a very peaceful Christmas. And we look forward for 2024 when we can bring it to you again and for a productive 2024 as well. And from a VC3 standpoint, of course, with the nine morning festivities, of course, uh, to unfold, uh, you can look out for us at nine nights, we'll also be at the nine morning festivities, both in Kingstown and in some of the rural areas. On all nine mornings, as uh, we celebrate nine mornings in that unique Vincentian tradition. It only happens here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, but there you have it, of course. The, the party continues here tonight. Um, uh, we should be having the presentation ceremony uh, following this. Uh, as to how soon it is going to come, uh, not just uh, aware of it, but uh, as soon as they're ready, we will certainly uh, bring it to you here on VC3 Channel 114. So we we'll take that break now, and uh, when they're ready uh, with the presentation ceremony, we will bring it to your way. Pleasure.
to the presentation of awards. The presentation of awards for the 2023 Inter Schools. Well, Inter Schools football competition. Um, let me ask folks that are walking by to please walk at the back. Kind of avoid walking in front of the camera, please. Thank you. So to do the primary schools category, we have with us the Minister of Education, the Honorable Curtis King, and he'll be doing the presentations for the primary school category. So we first off begin with the group winners. So the winners of group A for the primary schools Category, the Kittels Government School. Is there somebody from Kittels here? No, really, if you're from Kittels, please step forward. A teacher? All right, so she's a teacher from the Kittels Government School. All right, so now we, congratulations to Kittels. The winners of Group B, the Paget Farm Government School. Now what we have here is actually one of the mothers of the of one of, well two of the players the team had to leave because they had to catch the boat so the team isn't here so she'll be collecting the trophies or any presentations to Paget Farm. So congratulations to Paget Farm. We move on now to <laughs> Group C, the Canaan Government School. Winners of Group C. Is anyone from Canaan here? Well, um, not just anyone, but hopefully from, from the school. <laughs> I, I'm sure we have plenty of people from Canaan in here this evening. This is, a, this is a teacher from the Canaan Government School, Canaan Government, winners of Group C, Inter Primary Schools Football Competition. And then the winners of Group D, the OEA Government School. We now move into the individual awards and as part of the mandate of the Department of Sports when it comes to the primary schools football competition, part of the rule is that there must be a female on the field at all times. It's revolving, you could substitute on and off, but there must be a female on the field at all times. And the female who was adjudged the most outstanding female for the competition for 2023 is Natalia John, C.W. Prescott Primary. The next award is for the most goals in the competition. So the most goals for 2023, actually for two years in a row with a total of 23 goals, KJ Oliver, Project Farm Government School.
I will now we move on to the individual awards for the finals. So the finals played here today. So the best goalkeeper are judged in the finals of the primary schools competition from the OEA Government School, Damian Nanton. still have on the gloves. I feel they may going to sleep in them gloves tonight. I'll go school in them tomorrow all day. We now move on to the award for the best uh, best midfielder in the Premier School Finals. Terry Pollard in the Government School. And Tariq, while you're there, don't move, don't move, because you also get the MVP of the final. So congratulations to you, Tariq. Two trophies there for Tariq. And now we move on to the team presentations. In third place for the Primary Schools Championship, the C.W. Prescott Primary School. So they get each player on the team also gets a bronze medal. C.W. Prescott defeated the Kittel's Government School two goals to one in the third place playoff at the Richmond Hill playing field last week. The second place trophy and medals to last year's winner, the Patchett Farm Government School. <laughs> Padgett Farm was on a 15-game win streak. They won all their games last year, all their games this year, of course, up until they ran into the finals here at Championship Sunday. And now your winners of the 2023 Interprimary Schools Football Tournament. Over the... Probably something to be said about sports being played over the river because now that we have the Oya Government School taking the primary school fo football championship last week, the fancy government school took the netball championship. So big up over the river. And congratulations. And we must extend thanks to the Oya Government School for hanging around with that you do have a far way to travel and you've been ready to go for a while but you meant that you would not leave without your hardware this evening so thank you so much for sticking around and we wish you a safe journey home and thank you very much minister king 
We move on now to the junior secondary category. We'd like to invite Dwight Roberts, first vice president of the SVG Football Federation, the title sponsor of the tournament this year, to please step forward to do the presentations. So of course we begin with the zonal winners, the individual zonal winners. So the winners of Zone A, Junior Secondary Football Championship, the Central Leeward Secondary School, the Warriors. Winners of Zone A. The winners of Zone B, the St. Martin Secondary School. <laughs> winners of Zone C, the Bishop's College, Kingstown. And the winners of Zone D, the Georgetown Secondary School. If we have someone from Georgetown, or should we give it to O, you have to drop it off in Georgetown when they go out. <laughs> Leave it by the police station. Anyone from Georgetown, secondary? Someone come, okay, someone's coming. Representative there of Georgetown Secondary, the Gladiators of Georgetown. And now we move into the individual awards. First off, the So well, we are at the most goals for the inter sorry, inter secondary school junior division with a total of 20 goals from the Bishops College Kingstown, Jemo Williams. <laughs> The best defender of the junior finals, which is, where is it? Yes, there we go. Best defender of the junior finals goes to Malachi McMaster, St. Martin Secondary. <laughs> Sorry, all right, so we'll go to the finals MVP for the junior division. And that will go to Bo Hoyt, St. Martin Secondary. <laughs> The best goalkeeper of the finals, Dylan Clark, slip out to the secondary.
And also best midfielder. Missed that one there for the junior category, Bohoit St. Martin Secondary School. Bew? Oh, excuse me, Bew, okay. We now move into the team awards. Third place goes to the Georgetown Secondary School. The Georgetown Secondary. The Georgetown Secondary representative making his way here. Second place for the secondary school's junior tournament last year's winners, the Bishops College Kingstown. And your 2023 SVG Football Federation Junior Football Tournament Champions, the St. Martin Secondary School. Paging Renson, Renson Haynes. Paging Renson Haynes to the presentation area. Junior Football Champions, St. Martin Secondary School. Let me say thank you to to Dwight Roberts of the SVG Football Federation. So we're going to invite now Minister of Sports, the Honorable Frederick Stevenson, to do the presentations for the senior category. And of course, we start off with the group winners, winners of Group A, the Bethel High School, Alphas. So Bethel. The winners of Group B, the St. Vincent Grammar School.
members of Good Team, West St. George Secondary School. Congrats, Western George, and your winners of Group D, the Georgetown Secondary School Gladiators. Winners of Group D. Congrats, so we now move on to the most goals award for the senior category. Don't go too far, youngster, because with 13 goals, Mitch and John, your most goals for Georgetown Secondary School. And just for clarity, that is Mitch and John. And now we move on to the finals awards. The best defender, which is this one here, goes to Lawrence Benjamin, Central Leeward Secondary. And again, I started where I should not have. Should have started with the best goalkeeper. The best goalkeeper, Devon Morgan, Central Leeward Secondary. The best midfielder of the finals, Jamari. And also your MVP of the finals, Jim Ari Jack, Central Leeward Secondary. <laughs> in third place, winning 2-1 last week in the third place playoffs, the St. Vincent Grammar School. And the medals, second place. Into secondary school senior finals, the Bethel High School Alphas. <laughs> yeah. And now the champion trophy going to the team that will play against the celebrities at the Jingle Ball event on the 22nd for the third consecutive year in a row, Central Leeward Secondary Warriors! <laughs> Congratulations to Central Leeward. We say thank you to Minister Stevenson. We also say thank you to the SVG Football Federation and all other stakeholders 
Olds would have made a contribution to making this tournament a success this year. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here with us this afternoon on Championship Sunday. And of course, we look forward to seeing you once again next year, come 2024, God's willing. But once again, we have the 2024 Interschools Football Tournament. Thank you very much. Good night and get home safely.